Hey guys, here's part two of Mozart's Turkish March. At the end of part one, we left off on two E's. And like I said in part one, um, everything that you had learned in part one, you play twice. So you play this section twice. You play that uh, section twice. So again, here's middle C. So after landing on the two E's, um, after the second time you've gone through it, we're going to um, start a new section. And that section is going to start with uh, C, E in the right hand. Then you're going to play D, F. And then um, the left hand is actually going to change. You won't be playing um, the uh, pattern that I taught you in the first video you're actually playing octaves. So you'll move your left hand down to C octaves. So again, C, E, D, F. And you're gonna play E, G in the right hand. And when you play E, G, you're gonna hit this C in the left hand. Then you're gonna play E, G again in the right hand. You're gonna play middle C. So the left hand is just playing octaves. Kinda like that. So low and then high. E, G with the low C, and play E, G again with the high C. Next, um, your right hand is going to play uh, A, G, F, E, uh, B, B, and G. And um, I'll show you what uh, bass notes to play while you're playing that in the right hand. So again, that's what you've learned so far. Um, your left hand is going to move from the C octaves to the E octaves, and you're going to start playing. Um, you're going to start by playing A, then G by itself, then F with the higher E, then E by itself, then B D together. And you're going to move your left hand up to G octaves, so B D with the low G by itself. So low G with the B D together. And then you can either play this G here with your right hand or with your left hand. I find playing it with your left hand easier just because you're kind of playing octaves. So you can just kind of go like that. Um, then you're going to play that section again through. Just pretty much the exact same. Except the second time you do it, you're not going to play this G. So, um, first time. Second time. Next, um, you're going to play A, C in your right hand. Then B, D. And your left hand is going to move down to A octaves. So kind of the same thing, low, high. So um, again, A, C, B, D. And you, once you play, you're going to play C, E in the right hand. You're going to play the low A. Then you're going to play C, E again in the right hand. You're going to play the higher A. And after that, the right hand's going to play F, E, D, C, um, G sharp, B, then E. And then, like I said before, I'll show you the bass to go with those notes in the right hand. So again, A, C, B, D, C, E with the lower A note, and then C, E again with the higher A note in the left hand. Then um, move your left hand to C octaves, and you're going to play F in the right hand with uh, uh, C in the left hand, that C there, and you're going to play E by itself. And you're going to play this D in the right hand with this middle C. And C by itself. And you're going to move your left hand up to E octaves. And you're going to play uh, G sharp B in the right hand with that E. And then uh, you can either play uh, this E with your right hand or this E with your left hand. Either play it with your right or left hand. And like I said, uh, the left hand will probably be easier to play it just because you're just kind of doing the, that action anyway with your left hand. And then you're going to play through that little bit again twice. So after the first time, and you play 
it again. But you don't play that E. So it's kind of like the uh, first section that we just learned, um, except just with different uh, notes. But it's kind of like the same structure to it. So after that, we go right back to the beginning, what we've already learned. We play B, A, G sharp, A. And we play the C with the uh, A, C, E pattern. Everything is the exact same what you've learned in part one until this part. Um, until you finish this. And get to the C. Once you play the C this time through, your left hand won't be playing the A, C, E pattern, but it'll be playing the pattern, but with different notes. It'll be playing F, A, D sharp. This. I realize you can't really see it, but that's what I'm playing. I'll probably, yeah, I'll do it that way, just so you guys can see it. So, when, right after this part, when you play this uh, C here, you're going to play the F together with the C. And you're going to play A, D sharp by itself. And you're going to play A with the A, D sharp in the left hand. Then B in the right hand with the A, D sharp in the left hand. So again. So like I said, everything is the exact same when you come back to it. Until you get to that part. And when you get to the C, you change uh, to F, A, D sharp pattern. Just like that. After this part, you're going to move to E, A, E in the bass. You're going to play um, C in the right hand with the E in the left hand. And you're going to um, play B in the right hand with A, E in the left hand. Then you're going to move the bass uh, notes down to a D, F, B. You're going to play um, A in the right hand with the D in the left hand. Then G sharp in the right hand with the F, B in the left hand. Then you're going to move the bass notes again to C, E, A. You're going to play um, A, in the left, or A in the right hand with the C in the left hand. Then E in the right hand with the E, A in the left hand. Then you're going to move the bass notes back to the D, F, B. And you're going to play F in the right hand with the D in the left hand. Then F, B with the D in the right hand. So again, um, and like really what you're doing in the left hand is you're just doing the pattern. So whatever notes I say, like E, A, E, you're doing the pattern. Low note, with the two higher notes. Then low note. Just like that. So again, I'll go over that. Um, when you hit the C, play the E. Then the B in the right hand with the A, E in the left hand. Then the A in the, left, or A in the right hand with the D in the left hand. Then G sharp in the right hand with the F, B in the left hand. Then A with the C. Then E in the right hand with the E A in the left hand. Then F in the right hand with the D in the left hand. Then uh, D in the right hand with the F B in the left hand. And then you'll get to uh, uh, this C here, uh, first C above middle C. And when you get to that, you're going to uh, play E A in the, in the uh, left hand. But you're not going to do any pattern. You're just going to play just like that. You're going to play twice, E, A in the left hand with the C in the right hand, so uh, C in the right hand with the E, A in the left hand together, then play the C or the E, A by itself in the left hand. And then there's a couple way, different ways you can play this next little part. Uh, when you get to this B, um, you're going to play um, E, G sharp together with the B, and then E, G sharp again, and then a, B by itself, and then uh, A octaves with the A. Or you can play the other way. Um, 
Again, it's kind of the same thing. E, uh, C in the right hand, E A in the left hand, and E A by itself. And when you get to this uh, B with the E G sharp in the left hand, all you get, all you do is kind of play the B C a few times. But you play the E G sharp twice, just like that. Whichever way you want to do it, and then you. Uh, land on the uh, A octave in the left hand and the one A in the right hand. Now after that part, um, there's a few different ways I've seen this song uh, play out. Um, you can uh, go into a new section right after doing that, or you can go back into... and then finish out the... Uh, that uh, that those two sections and then going into this section and then going into just what we've just learned you can either do it that way or you can just skip all that all together and go into the new section So I'll just, you could do whatever you want, I'm just going to skip ahead into the new section where we play octaves in the right hand and we play um, kind of a, a rolling chord in the left hand for the bass. So um, right after landing on A octave in the left hand with the single A in the right hand, we're going to play A octave, B octave, and you're going to play C octave in the right hand. When you get to that C, we're going to um, roll. Uh, an A major chord, and that's going to be A, C sharp, E, and an A. Roll that all four of those keys when you get to the C sharp octave in the right hand. Then play, um, then the pattern kind of is going to be in the left hand during this section. You'll roll the chord, and you're going to play the uh, highest key a few times, depending on what chord it is. So with the A, Kind of play it one, two, three, four after the uh, after you roll the chord. So again, A octaves, B octaves. When you get to the C octaves, roll into the A major chord. Then play uh, the high A note by itself. Then play um, A octaves with the A note. Then B octaves with the A note. Then when you get to the C sharp again, roll into that chord then you're going to actually walk down the octaves. So you're going to get down to the B octaves, then the A octaves, then the G octave, or G sharp octaves. And every time I'm going down an octave, I'm, I'm, or every time I'm doing an octave, I'm hitting the, uh, this A note. And you're going to do that until you get down to the F sharps, F sharp octaves in the right hand. And what you're going to do when you get to the F sharp octaves is you're actually going to roll into a new chord. And that chord's going to be a D major chord, a D, F sharp, A, D. And remember the same pattern, you roll into it and you play the higher, um, higher bass note. So where are you going to get these F sharp octaves? You're going to roll into a D major chord. Then you're going to play G sharp octaves in the right hand with the single D note in the left hand. And you're going to play A octaves in the right hand. You're going to actually change from the... Um, D, F sharp, A, D, to um, D sharp, F sharp, A, D sharp. So all you're doing really is you're sharpening these two Ds here. So just sharp the Ds and leave your fingers on the F sharp, A. So that's all you're doing. When you get to this A, these A octaves. So when you get to the A octaves, roll the D sharp, F sharp, A, D sharp. Then you're going to play B octaves in the right hand. You're going to play the single D sharp note in the left hand. Then after that, we're going to play G sharp octaves. And uh, when you play those G sharp octaves, you're going to actually uh, roll into an E major chord. So when you get into those G sharps, you're going to roll into the G or E major chord. And then you're going to play E octaves in the right hand and with the single E note. 
And that concludes part two of Mozart's Turkish March.